Hi, this is Brad Chitterster with the Music Learning Workshop. Have you ever wished you could read music, find an easy proven way to learn music, find an affordable home study lesson, or improve your music skills and abilities without a lot of money and expense? Well, you know, you're not alone. I've struggled with the basic idea of how to read and play music for years. You know, I've bought dozens of books and only got pieces and parts of what I needed during that period of time. Finally, one day I discovered a new method that really worked for me. Let me explain. Learning music really is a two-part process. It involves technique and principles. In techniques, we learn how to play. We learn delivery of music. And this is actually working with your instrument. On the other hand, we talk about principles. And principles are about reading music and understanding music and its structure. So when you talk about the technique of playing, we really talk about the touch or the feel or the finesse on an instrument and how we can deliver that sound quality. It's about using certain fingerings to make things work right. It's about the strength and endurance and actually playing and working with your instrument. On the other hand, music principles or the theory are about learning what notes tell you in pitch and value, what timing is and what rhythm is about. It's about the structure, keys and scales of music and how they work in a song. It's about chords and the flow of music and the progression. You know, with most courses, they teach you a few basic ways to play. Maybe they give you a bass line to follow, something very simple that you can work out. You can play a melody or two and use some simple chord structures underneath it. You might learn to strum a few chords, pick a riff, but you know it's just enough to get by. It's never enough to truly understand and work with music. Now the two ways that they teach music is first is what I call the bad way. It's note by note. You learn notes a little at a time. You learn what this note is. You learn what that note is. Well folks learn to spell music and not really to read it. The big picture doesn't come for many months or even years after you start your music lessons. Here's an example. Here is a fifth interval. Now, intervals are simply the distance between two notes. But the funny thing is I've known people that have been taught for years and don't know this basic concept of what an interval is because they've been taught note, note by note for music. Really, music is much more than that. It's a language and a sport. The second way of teaching it is through principles. And that's kind of like the math and language of music. You know, you learn music as a language. Hello, Bob could actually be considered a set of chords. It has letters, notes, and scales to it. A major scale is made up of notes and scales, and this is really kind of the alphabet of your music. It has words, and these are the chords, and they're based on simple mathematical principles. A math of an extended chord here is really a super jazz chord, which we call an F13. It's got all sorts of intervals involved with it, and then once you learn the simple mathematics of that, these things become easy to understand. You know, music has sentences. It's made up of phrases of chords and notes. And that's really the question and answer aspect of a lot of music. You make a statement, you answer the statement. It, you know, and it also has expression. It has loud, soft singing. It has delivery, which is the rhythm and the punctuation. It is all still based upon simple math. When you put all this together, it is like learning a sport. Now, music has structure and principles. It can be simple. It really can be simple, folks, because a lot of people make it far more difficult than it really is. It requires effort to learn. There's no doubt about that. But the payoff in learning is just extraordinary. You know, great composers were theorists. All the initial composers sat down and learned theory before they learned music. Naturally, some of these have learned that through just plain use, and others have done it through study. Your skill and level of ability are directly related to two things. The first is what you learn about music principles. The second is the effort you put into it after that. And there's just no way you get around it. You have to put effort into it. But effort is not the sitting down for an hour in a practice session and just running through some things. It's about short, focused, concentrated effort on a single element. You know, we look at these chords right here. We may look at each one individually and how they're put together. Then we combine them together and look at them as a whole and we start building on these steps to move up that chain letter ladder of learning music principles. That effort can be done in 10 minutes for a focused thing. The Music Learning Workshop has developed an easy, fast, affordable way to learn music principles. 
you can now reduce remarkably the amount of time needed to learn music. You know, we're announcing the hair is a fast and easy way to learn music. It's the getting it down cold music theory course. You can learn music without getting brain damage. You don't have to have a college education to really learn the basic principles of music and learn 90% of what you're going to need to get through your music career. There's over four years of music theory in this one year program and it's going to all be done in that amount of time. Why would we think about doing the music theory course? Well, you know, just reading books doesn't cut it. You need to work through these music elements. That means taking a hands-on approach. It means put it really sitting down and working through each of these music elements. Now, reference books are just that. They're set there and made to refresh your memory and help you work through something you may have forgotten about or hadn't studied for a while. It, if you try to do that on your own with reference books, it's a lot more effort on your part. And you, what you got to realize is reference books show you things, they don't teach you things. If you're going to learn it, and it, you're going to have to take down and spend the time to really dig through it and learn it on your own. That's why we always like this hands-on approach of helping you do that in a very systematic approach. Now here's what you'll learn in the course. It's a beginner through intermediate music theory course. And actually we get onto the advanced concepts as well. You explore all the music elements that we've talked about previously from the notes up through the chords. You get the necessary basic elements down cold. What you gain in this process is you save a lot of time. What you would normally take you four to eight years can be done in a year. You're going to save money. You know, you can easily spend $1,200 a year on lessons just for the basic principles of the lessons and, and learn things and only get a fraction of what you would learn in this course. Now, don't get me wrong. I think you need a mentor and a teacher because learning technique really, truly does require a lot of that effort. You can reduce your frustration level by learning these principles quicker and faster and exploring and getting going faster. How it gets done. These are the five music element areas that you must know. Now I'd love to plug you in a machine and just let it all happen for you, but it doesn't work that way. We got four workshops. We talked about notes, rhythm, keys and scales, and chords. Well, we've divided those into four workshops and in the course we actually interweave all these workshops together to make this happen in a very systematic program. The notes workshop itself, we cover the basic note knowledge. We talk about symbols, time values, pitch. We move that pitch into the master staff and we teach you this master staff, which is, really takes about 20 minutes to a half hour uh, on the outside. But what you can do is by doing that and mastering this master staff in two weeks, you now got the foundation to be able to read music. Now this is an ongoing process and it can take up to a couple of months to really feel very, very comfortable with the master staff. But we're going to get you 90% there in two weeks. Intervals. In the note workshop we cover the note relationships and this is so important for the rest of the course. It is the foundation and basis for everything else that moves on from this point in the scales and chords and keys workshops. In the rhythm workshop we take the time to to go through basic meter and it's really about the basic beat patterns. What does it take? The one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four that everybody talks about. We move from that basic pattern into subdividing beats and learn how to to use extra notes and shorten the time frame and what that rhythm is really about. We end up looking at triplets, quadruplets, and, and swing rhythm. This is a three-step process that we go through in the rhythm workshop. We go through learn and experience each rhythm and that's about taking different approaches to looking at different rhythms and giving you a different aspect so that you have a ingrained knowledge of what these rhythms are about. You then gain endurance on these rhythms as you start to practice them they become easier and easier and all of a sudden one day you'll learn that you can groove that rhythm and you can actually change that rhythm just slightly with your mastery of those rhythms and it's a process that takes a while but it is a very stepped process to help you get through it. There's over 36 patterns that can be learned in this music uh, workshop. We move on to key signatures there and it's really keys and scales but we'll look at this the key signatures workshop here. Usually only a handful of keys are learned or taught when you begin lessons and I think this is just a shame because there's a lot of keys that scare all these folks that oh you see all those sharps and flats when you, well, when you learn the basic principles about how they're created and you master these concepts, you get the ability to figure them out on the spot. And now they're not intimidating anymore. And then you can, you can use them wherever you want. 
course, we'll look at the major and minor keys, all 15 keys of each, and how they're all related together. And on top of that, did you know that Chopin composed at all of the keys in his preludes and waltzes? This was a really unique thing because it forces a different uh, key as well as a different aspect or sound to the, to the music. As we move into the scales workshop and integrating it with the uh, keys, we're, we're going to look at basically at eight types of scales. But we start out first with the major and the minor scales and how they're related together. We go through all of these and we put them up so that you can really spend some time working with these and, and learning them. You're going to create your own actual reference theory book doing this. We learn the principles of all these scales through math and how they're put together. On top of that, we can go jazzy and learn about modes and blues and gospel and polytonal and whole tone scales. In the chords workshop, we really start out and go with the four basic chord types. Now that you've learned intervals, we're really going to get into the chords and we look at those four different types and spend quite a bit of time developing and how they're related. Once we've done that, we get into the chord inversions. We look at how they're put together. We'll even look at arpeggios and those kinds of things. We look at the chords in a harmonic system. We put the scales and chords together to develop harmonic systems. And we show you how to create and actually develop these things on your own. Once you've gone through this a couple of times, you're going to be amazed at how easy this is and how much more you're going to learn. You rela the relationships in either, each of the key signatures is almost the same, but we also look at the major and minor systems for the key signatures. We get on over into seventh chords, and then we find out that there are seven kinds of sevenths that we build on our four basic chords. We look at chord progressions as well, and this is a really important aspect about chord flow. We talk about the close chord changes. If you looked at our example here, chords are all over the map on the staff there, but when we get down and we look at how well, what would be the closest place to go? We would actually explore looking at how to accomplish that. We have some special bonus lessons included. And these are on the upper end, and this is in when we start to get into our advanced side. Harmonic progression. This is pretty deep stuff here, and we can explain it and, and work it. This is one of those areas that, that will introduce you to harmonic progression so that you can start and leap into that advanced theory. Resolution. Which chord am I going to? You know, it's like I'm sitting on this one chord, I'm playing it. Where is it most likely to go? We'll find out that a 5-7 easily goes home to a 1 chord. Now you'll learn what the 5-7 and the 1 chords mean. Modulation. This is about making a turnaround. This is a lot about resolution too. It's about you ever get at the end of a song how it'll turn around and come back to the head. Well, it really means it's how can you go from one place to another, and that's really what modulation is about. We explore a little bit about that to understand it and move on from there. This really is the jumping board into your advanced concepts, and I like these bonus lessons at the end of our course because it really takes everything that you've learned and adds a whole new aspect to it to give you a whole new idea of where you might want to go. This all sounds like a bunch of stuff, and quite frankly it is. There's literally over 800 pages that we go through in this one year to learn all this stuff. Now, 800 pages sounds like a lot, but it's because we've taken the time to give you a lot of graphics and make it easy to understand. But what I've really tried to do is make it as easy as possible to get through this. And we go step by step, hands-on learning. An average of 15 minutes a day is about all it takes. And it's affordable. It really is not an expensive course at all. We have free bonuses, too. There's three of them. The critical step to quickly mastering a song is our free giveaway when you join the uh, music learning workshop. And this is a 40-page report that really talks about how to learn a song based on using the music principles. And we actually start at it and look at that early in the beginning of the course so that you get a foundation of where do you know where you're going with this stuff. And as you move on, you start to learn it. Also throwing in the piano technique for scale fingerings. Even if you don't play the piano, this is a very interesting thing because it reinforces the idea of scales. And if you do go to a keyboard, you'll learn how to play them properly. The third one is what was a early 1900s book on music notation and terminology. And even to this day, 95% of what's in there is still valid. We've got some different terms and terminology that's not always there, but this is a great digital reference that allows you to look up anything you might run across that you need to find out about in a very quick fashion. Now the entire course is 100% risk-free guarantee. You have 60 days to try it, you've got a full eight weeks to give it a whirl, and if you don't like it and it's not working for you, no, we'll refund your money, no questions, no hassle. 
you know, and I'm really fine with doing this because there's one, I stand behind my materials completely. If they're not working for you, they're not working for you and you shouldn't be paying for them. I know that you'll be thrilled with this course and more importantly, with the results that you're going to get from it. Below is the order button and what happens next. You know, don't put it off. It only takes an average of about 15 minutes a day. If you don't get started today, when will you? Thank you for joining us at the Music Learning Workshop, and I hope you enjoy the course.